Groove number four, I call this one Granddaddy. It's based on the song We're an American Band by the band Grand Funk Railroad. It features uh, like this line that has a motif that goes from 454 to 565. You'll see what I'm talking about. Let's check it out. All right, let's break this one down. It starts in the, it's actually an eight bar phrase, which is a little different. Normally we'll do two bar phrases or four bar phrases, but this one's eight bars just to kind of get the whole phrase, the whole motif of what was going on in the bass line. So I thought it was best to have this one be the complete eight bar phrase. It makes sense when you, when you hear it. So it starts in D, it's, there's um, each one of these first uh, two, chords last for two bars each okay so one two three four one two three four so the first bar uh, is we're in d and we're just pumping eighth notes throughout this whole um this whole groove so we start on d which is the root and we play d i'm going to play d instead of playing the open d i'm, I'm going to play d here on the a string on the fifth fret of the a string okay so i'm going to play eighth notes for the first um, two beats, one and two and, and actually I'm gonna hit the downbeat of three actually with that same root, that same D, okay? So, one and two and three, okay? Then I'm gonna stop there. That's where the little change, the little motif is gonna come in at. And when I was telling you earlier about four, five, four, or five, six, five, this one's gonna be a four, five, four kind of riff that happens in between these, uh, peddling these uh, roots. Okay, so. So that's when we're gonna go to the four of D, which is G, and then to the five, which is A. So I'm playing G and A on the E string. So that's where the little change comes in is four, five, four. One and two and three and four and, okay? And uh, same thing happens in bar two, same thing, uh, we're still in D, same exact phrase. So then we move down, it's kind of a descending bass line that goes down to C, uh, doing the same thing. So we're going to pump that, that root first for the first uh, five eighth notes, technically. So it's um, through beat two, and then to start beat three, we're going to hit that, that same root, so in C. Again, I'm going to play C on the A string, third fret right here. So four, five, four. So the, the four of C is going to be F, okay? There's an F up here too, but we're going to play the lower F down here on the E string. So four, five, four, okay? So same rhythm, and we're just going to move down to the key of C. So... Uh, and in bar four, we have the same exact thing. Four, five, four. So in D it was, and you can look at even the shape. Uh, that's the nice thing about bass sometimes. If we see like the shape of things, we can move it around and it be the same thing in a different key just by the way it looks. Down to C, you know. You could play it anywhere on the fretboard once we know the shape of how, how it looks pretty much. Okay, so that's bar, bars three and four. So it keeps descending and goes down to B flat in bar five. Uh, again, we're gonna do the eighth notes all the way up to B three, two and three. This is where it changes instead of four, five, four, it, it flips it to five, six, five. So over the B flat. F is the, uh, the five or the fifth of B flat. And then go to the six, which is G. 
So five, six, five. Instead of uh, in B flat, it'd be so, or if it was four, five, four still. But it's gonna flip to the five, six, five thing. Give it gives it a little different characteristic, a little different sound. Okay, and then we're gonna go up back up to C. Also gonna be five six five. Okay, this time. When we first played C chord in bars three and four, it was four five four. This time when we come back to C, it's gonna be five six five. Five six five. See before with so it's a little different, a little subtle change, but very effective. And then in bar seven, we go back to a D chord, and we're going to go back to the four five four motif. Okay, so it switches back and forth a little bit. It starts with the four five four little riff for the first four bars, then it goes to five six five four cup for bars five and six, and then returns to 454 four for uh, bar seven there over the D. And the last bar is a little different because we're gonna actually start on D. The chord's gonna be C. So we, we it's, there's a little pause before we actually get to the C. It's, uh, and it makes a nice, a nice little melodic change there to where um, we don't hit the root on beat one. We actually hit D instead of, instead of C. We don't do we hit, you know, so it makes it nice. It's a nice subtle, but like I said, it's a nice change melodically. So in that last bar, we got, okay, so we go back again to the five, six, five. So four, five, four, five, six, five for a couple bars, back to four, five, four, and then the last bar, we do another five, six, five riff. So it makes the bass line jump around a little bit and gives it a little more energy and excitement and you're not hearing the same thing over and over again. So now that you know all the parts, let's put it together nice and slow. I'll count you in. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 